Well, the official numbers are in. The entire weekend has been recorded, and the Marvels sets another record post-worst second weekend box office drop-off in comic book history, doing worse than The Flash and Morbius. <laughs> It's a bad, bad box office performance for this movie. And it's not going to get any better. Next weekend will be even worse. My suspicion is that Disney will pull this movie from the theaters and just release it on Disney+. Plus. That's what I think will happen. Or they'll give it a very early digital release. They're going to have to do something because they are going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars on this movie. This movie is a catastrophic failure. They should have just wrote it off as a tax break. (laughs) That's what they should have done. They should have given this movie the bad girl treatment. So, yeah, all the outlets, they can't even lie about it. This is GameSpot. The Marvels had the worst first and second weekends in MCU history at the box office. Second weekend box office numbers slumped by 79%. Some outlets are saying 76. It's almost like nobody wants to put 80 on there. Uh, The Marvels had the worst ever start at the box office in MCU history, and the film didn't do great in its second weekend either. The superhero movie starring Brie Larson made $10.2 million for its second weekend in the U.S., a 79% decline from its $46 million opening, according to Variety, before the Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp had the second worst second weekend ever with a 69% in MCU history. So what are they going to do? You know, I, I, I would say maybe this is a moment where they sit down and, actually try to figure out what do we do here? How do we save this genre? Maybe we turn things around. No. Uh, In fact, I think they're going to triple down now and continue doing this, but they're going to try to dial it back a little bit. Not, Not fully. So my prediction with the Fantastic Four, and I think I'm going to put a video out on this, uh, after this one, maybe sometime today, explain what I think they're going to do with the Fantastic Four. But I think Reed Richards is going to become the maker in that movie because he's going to get his heart broken by Sue, who is going to probably bang Namor or something. I'll bring that. I'll bring that up in a video later. Uh, Sue has always kind of had a thing for him, so I think they're going to go forward with it, and then. Maybe even have She-Hulk join the Fantastic Four, which she kind of is a member of in the comics. Then you could have two women, two dudes, and have a a nice female-to-male ratio for the Fantastic Four team. Because this is what the Mar- this is what Marvel cares about now, and this is why they're losing seventy nine percent on their movies on the second weekend. Nobody wanted this movie. They're trying to grab these markets that just historically don't give a shit about superhero stuff. And the ones that did or do like it for the same reasons all the men like it. So it's 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 just not a financial decision that makes any sense. In fact, uh, more women showed up for Rachel Ziegler than Brie Larson. The Hunger Games actually had a female audience show up for it. Wow. Even though it didn't do good, uh, this movie still flopped. Uh, But it'll probably end up being okay in the long run if it has some legs because it didn't cost nearly as much as Brie Larson's The Marvels. So it, it will probably maybe make some money. I don't know. But this one did a little bit better. I think it at least cracked a hundred million its first weekend. 
I'm not entirely sure on that. I don't see the numbers here, but it is funny that, <laughs> you know, this movie actually had women showing up to it, unlike the Marvels, which didn't have any any women showing up to it. And Deadline's report about the Marvels Thursday, $6.6 million. The site reported a majority of the audience was made up of men. And they do that because they do, they'll do some surveys, exit surveys for people at some theaters to kind of get a feel of what the audience thinks about it. It's, it's good to know because it'll give you kind of a, it'll give you kind of an idea of how things are going to perform for the movie. If it's going to have good word of mouth. So they point out here that this is funny because they're blaming men for the movie failing. And it's, how can you blame dudes? They showed up for the movie. Women didn't show up. Uh, so for the Hunger Games bout of Songbirds and Snakes, the Thursday previews were held last night, which made less than the Marvels. However, Deadline reports women showed up and made up 65% of the audience, which is, which is actually higher than Mockingjay 2, 60% in 2015. So that means women showed up to watch the flick and Rachel Ziegler, but the men didn't. It's the opposite. Check out the stats via deadline. And here they break it down a little bit. Uh, the Marvel 65% male leaning with 45% men of men over 25, 22% women over 25, men under 25 at 20%. Uh, biggest demo was 25 through 34 at 33%. Diversity demos were 36%. Caucasian, 27% Latino, 17% Black, and 14% Asian. Then you had, for the Hunger Games, 18 through 34 turnout was huge at 75%. Biggest demos in descending order were women under 25 at 36%, followed by women over 25 at 28%. Men over 25 at 21%, and men over 25 at 14%. Girls under 12 showed up at 75%, with kids overall saying that the movie is a must-see at 94%. That's why I think this movie will probably be okay because you have a lot of kids saying they liked it, which ultimately is the purpose of this movie, to keep the Hunger Games franchise alive. I think you might see... I think you might see this movie have a little bit of a leg holding it up at the theaters. Marvel's, no. Uh, Marvel's is going to completely clash and burn. But let's take a look at some of the cope. That's what you're here for, right? Let's look at some of it. Uh, Hollywood handle the Marvel's expected to end its theatrical run, earning less than The Flash. This would make it also the lowest grossing MCU film ever. Uh, here's a count that's uh, just been given lots of gifts. An artist on Facebook had to disable his comment section for making a cute The Marvels fan art because people started being racist and sexist in the comments. Let's take a look at this ism. Okay, here's the original uh, art. I really don't, if you want to make this, I don't think it matters. But people, especially if you have a following, are going to come in and make comments. So here's one of those hateful comments. Uh, the Panderverse. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, woke bombed faster. Okay. I don't see how that's racist or sexist. Uh, oh, the hype for a trash movie. Uh, this person says the famous meme, uh, don't ask questions, just consume product and then get excited for next products. That's a poor movie. We've got to pander harder. Apparently these comments are racist and sexist. According to the, he, him account here that stands with SAG and WGA. Uh, there's more. Here's one that also locked replies after, after uh, comments came in. Said, I will never forgive y'all for letting this movie fail like this. Like this. Like it's one of the nastiest things I've ever seen. Somebody comes in and says, blame the people not interested in it for seeing it. Lol, hysterical. Uh, this account replies with, this block is hysterical. Ooh, really showed them. Uh, somebody said, there's literally a, a Disney boycott right now. Not trying to be offensive, but you can please educate me on why we're boycotting. Like, I see everything, everyone talking about a boycott. What is that? Uh, well, apparently, the reason this movie failed is because there's a group of people that are protesting Disney giving money to Israel. 
that's a whole different thing. Uh, there are some tweets out there, but uh, that's not the reason this movie failed. <laughs> In fact, I would imagine that the money they lost from that is insignificant. Uh, they they probably could have used it. I mean, every dollar counts for the Marvels at this point. But <laughs> that's not the reason this movie's failed. There are people out there legitimately saying that that's why this movie has failed, but it's not. Uh, Stephen King blames the movie failure on men. You can kind of leave it on that one because Stephen King is an idiot, and he has been acting like an idiot for a long time. I don't know what happened to this man. He got extreme TDS, and he just went off the rails one day, and he has not come back. Uh, but he was out there having a big meltdown over this movie, and I don't even think he went to watch it. So that's it. What a weekend. What a weekend for Marvel. And it's only going to get worse for Disney. I'm going to go over that later. Thanks you for, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.